All right, uh, I'm back. I put some batteries in there. I um, wasn't going to really bore you with some uh, batteries here of me installing them. Anyways, uh, okay. So I got some material here. Uh, kind of had a chance to review the uh, review manual here. And I uh, got some got some things here. This is uh, aluminum. Okay. Um, just going to use this as a pointer. Um, that's a uh, white gold. My my wedding ring. And that's that's my other wedding ring, which is gold gold. Got a dime, quarter, and a nickel and a penny. This thing, which is steel, of course. And then um, also some copper wire. Okay. So we're gonna test this out. And uh, here are the different functions here. Um, Try to do it so you can all see it. It's on right now. So there we go, if we can see that. And so um, this here on top is the uh, disc and tone function. Uh, this button here is uh, the you know, disc, all metal, and tone. And I'll explain the differences there. And then here's the uh, the volume control. Yeah, there you go. The lighting on this side is much better. Uh, versus this side, which is, not, which is not very good. Okay, so maybe I'll just tilt it over like like this. There we go. You can see the so disc tone mode, disc all metal tone, and then this is uh, sends. I guess short for sense sensor or sensitivity. And then, uh, as you see, there is a um, zero midpoint, uh, half the way to the midpoint, and then 10. So um, this is more of a sensitivity, um, how sensitive you want the, uh, the coil to be. And then the volume, of course, off, and then being on to very loud. Um, it says best thing to do is use uh, headphones to conserve the battery power. And then over here is the, uh, the disc tone and uh, it has uh, different functions. And so if you put this lever to disc, what it does is it'll, uh, depending on where you, where you move the dial, right now it's on 10, it's only gonna detect, for the most part, aluminum, copper, um, maybe some nickel. So I'm going to use my other hand because I have a watch on this hand, so I don't want to interfere with it. So I take this and not much going on, you see. I have to get really close. It has to be moving. But now I take the aluminum and there you go. See that? Detects the aluminum. Also detects copper pretty good at that that range. So let's see here. Let's see. Oh, it's copper wire. There you go. And so if you put it on 10 here, uh, that's what it'll pretty much mostly you know detect. But if you put this on uh, zero, it uh, detects everything, including, um, you know, uh, steel. So it'll detect this. It'll detect the, the penny, the gold. See? It'll detect everything. Uh, this thing, which I think is a little bit of uh, nickel, nickel plated at least, will detect that. Detect the aluminum. So uh, at that level, it'll detect everything. And, and I guess you turn you turn in the dot, you dial it to figure out what it is. So if you turn it all the way to the other side and it's still beeping, well, guess what? You you probably got copper, aluminum, maybe some nickel. And if you turn it and all of a sudden it 
was beeping and you know like this and then it stops beeping you probably got uh, you know some steel and uh, so and there's some ranges in between either steel gold um, nickel let me see how's the let me open to the page that I'm talking about here there it is you see that so iron gold nickel nickel iron nickel zinc there you go copper aluminum silver so uh, all these will ring when you're at zero so these all this all these uh, metals will ring at zero but as you turn the dial they'll supposedly stop beeping and if you turn all the way it's more like it'll be silver aluminum copper maybe a little zinc nickel maybe not so much but that's the concept here so if you got something and it beeps here if it doesn't beep here you probably got iron gold nickel something like that uh, but you don't have zinc copper silver aluminum and so that's kind of helpful and then there's this other function right here of um, my battery is almost dying out so excuse me if it cuts um, you have to do another episode on this but the uh, all metal of course kind of self-explanatory all metal and then there's tone so if you turn this lever to the tone all the way down to the tone um, it's the same concept uh, except that you're going to get a beeping noise um, so it's all the way down to zero and of course you're going to get a beep noise right so it's going to it's going to just Right, it's gonna just pretty much detect everything. Right. Oh. So that's kind of what it's doing. Here's a couple of wires. So uh, I guess the tone is uh, more of uh, it needs to be a motion sensor, and uh, so if you if you turn this dial, which is also the disc, um, to also 10, then uh, you're going to get a different uh, different tone for different metals. So this is definitely going to be toning as aluminum, right? And uh, you see that? It doesn't get a clear tone. I mean, you hear something, but it's not very clear. Same thing with the, the gold, my gold ring here, okay. Hmm, this is a, definitely not uh, silver, aluminum, or copper. But if you take copper, it gets a very clear tone. There you go. So that's what the tone is for. And so um, it picks up something's there, but if it's not a clear, it's not that range of metals. Um, which is kind of cool and then this button here is just a target so uh, it just you hover over whatever it is and it tells you that it's there that's kind of how I can explain it but anyways uh, so far it seems to work um, different metals do different things I'm gonna go ahead and try it out uh, this is gonna be a fun fun <laughs> that's why I've been eyeing it you know there's nothing like treasure hunting um, Treasure hunting can be, you know, very fun, um, especially when it could be eventually rewarding, a rewarding treasure. So um, if you ask me to rate this, uh, it's easy to put together. It seems very easy to understand from the directions I've read. Uh, the concept of this, how to use it, is also seems to be very easy. Um, I, I give it an excellent rating. <laughs> And, and it seems like a good fun 
the fun factor just really pushes it over because it, I, I think I can really have some fun with this. Um, not that I'm going to find, you know, uh, Davy Jones's locker or anything, but uh, uh, I'm going to have fun kind of walking around looking silly, but I'll have, uh, again, treasure hunting. You know, I know a lot of trailways, a lot of parkways here. Uh, where I live, it's, uh, you know, a master plan community. So um, we, you know, since I live here, I have access to a lot of amenities. One of them has to be a sports complex, which has many trails that goes out to the river and uh, also a lot of trails in general. And so I think I'm, I'm going to have fun. Uh, I'm going to go out there in my backyard right now and with my headphones and, and play around with this thing. I'm so excited. Um, it's, and, and it seems like a good useful tool. If you ever lose something in metal, you can, you can find it. So anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, episode here. Um, if you're thinking about getting this particular product here, the, the metal detector thing here, I'd highly recommend it, um, especially if you, uh, um, you know, have been thinking about getting it. And again, the price what I got it for compared to, you know, some other um, metal detectors that are more, more very high end. Uh, again, this is for the novice beginner uh, who doesn't want to spend a lot of money, but kind of curious and uh, want to do this like myself and find some pleasure and enjoyment in doing it. Uh, I don't want to spend a lot of money. But at the same time, I want to, I do want to uh, take uh, pleasure in, in going out there looking like an idiot, um, you know, with my headphones, looking for treasure. So, uh, yeah, you know, if, if, if you got the uh, um, money, which I think everyone has got the money for this, uh, go ahead and have fun. Um, so, thanks. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned. And I got some other things coming in the pipelines. I mean, there's a lot of things for me to kind of kind of talk about here. So uh, you know, hope this helps and uh, you enjoyed it very much. This is a little bit shorter than some of the others, but again, this is much easier than the others. Um, and I think you're gonna have a lot more fun if you do this. Anyways, thanks. Bye, and see you again.